Sultan Hamoud, just 110 kilometers from Nairobi. And the first phase of the Standard Gate Railway is a little more than a year from completion. President Kenyatta visited Saturday to assess what's been achieved so far and to discuss the challenges facing this project. Land is the big one. People living along the SGR's route are to be compensated when the truck cuts through their land. But some are seeking a lot of money. Kenyatta has urged them to put the country's interests first. It is to make our country transform and truly make us a middle-income country. Let us not put obstacles that help or that delay our progress to that particular agenda. China Road and Bridge Corporation is building the line. Thousands of local jobs have been created. Kenyatta says when it's complete, there'll be broader benefits. Trade will be easier and prices for products and power will be less steep. He's also predicting less environmental damage. Just one train can haul more than 200 containers, equivalent to more than 100 lorries. That's going to help ease traffic congestion and cut down on the wear and tear on Kenya's roads. Each train will be able to carry a thousand passengers. The government's ordered 56 locomotive engines, 1,620 freight wagons, and 40 passenger coaches. They will arrive in Mombasa from the end year for testing and commissioning. The SGR has been hailed as one of the most important infrastructure projects in East Africa. Later phases include linking SGR to Uganda, Rwanda and South Sudan. Sony Methu, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.